Okay guys, today is the day. I'm about to start a 40 hour drive to Los Angeles. And at the same time, Jacob is also off to Virginia Tech. No, I'm going to Colorado. I'm preparing for when I come out in November. Okay, Jacob, last chance. Anything you want to say to the vlog? I don't know. Uh, goodbye, viewers. Uh, I'll keep training. He obviously didn't have anything prepared. I'm at a loss for words. It's such a heartbreaking occasion. You guys are probably going to get used to this view real quick because this is what it's always going to be set up to. But we're basically going to have a convoy out because the first like two hours of this trip is on the way to Virginia Tech, which is where Jacob's going. So I'm going to be following behind my parents and Jacob for the first part of the trip and then break off. Ready for our convoy? Yeah. Whoa, look at that rev. One hundred miles down. Okay, so I'm probably two hours into the drive now. I want to give you guys kind of like an overview of what I'm doing to get to Los Angeles. So I'm trying to do this in five days. Go all the way from Virginia. I live in Richmond, and I'm going to be going all the way to Los Angeles in five days. I need to average eight hours a day. It's going to be an absolute grind, but I'm going to take you guys along with me for the ride. So one thing you're probably wondering is why am I not driving a CX-5? I'm driving a Volkswagen Jetta. So literally yesterday I bought this car because as I talked about before, the dealership that sold me the CX-5 literally could not get the CX-5 fixed. But I kind of dig the Jetta, it's super nice. Since it is a Jetta, I kind of dig the name The Jet as a nickname. Let me know what you guys think, I think it's pretty dope. Eight hours later, finally arrived at my grandparents. Oh, ah, the legs have given out. This is gonna be harder than I thought, guys. Can I get a single steak burger and also an Oreo shake? Had to stop at the best restaurant in America. Don't at me there. This is probably pretty controversial, but. It is the best. I lived in Kansas from ages six to nine roughly, and this was the place. And also, both my grandparents live in the Midwest, so this is where steak and shake is just the best. Just get in shakes for happy hour. This was the best. I loved this so much as a kid, and I mean, I still do. It's, it's so, so great to see a steak and shake. While I was in the car, I was thinking, it's crazy, because for you guys, this video is gonna be like 10 to 15 minutes. But for me, I've already invested over like 30 hours, but it's gonna go by like that for you. Hey guys, I have been driving through Illinois and Indiana today and there's nothing. It has just been farms and fields the entire drive. I feel like if you took me back 300 miles ago when I just started this drive, I would not be able to tell the difference whatsoever. This is gonna be the long one. I'm driving 10 hours from Washington, Missouri, which is outside St. Louis, all the way to Armorio, Texas, which is a good 800 miles. Guys, oh my gosh, 326 miles straight on this road. So from here on out, I'm basically gonna be on Route 66 all the way to St. Louis to Los Angeles. So we got the special Route 66 hat. I gotta be rocking now. I am on the edge of Missouri, about to go into Oklahoma. Dang, the speed limit is now 75. That means we can fly so much faster. Like 
Guys, you know how I was saying 75 was the speed limit earlier? It literally just went up to 80 miles an hour. Okay, so I just made it past Oklahoma City and the stretch of highway coming up is, I'm not even joking, one of the most bare in the entire country. There is literally nothing from here to where I'm gonna be staying tonight in Armorillo. Me and the jet just made it to Armorillo. This was a long day, 10 hours, across Oklahoma, across Texas, across Missouri, but we finally made it. I'm going to bet and then I'm going to drive to Flagstaff tomorrow. Day number four of the road trip across the country. Today, I'm starting off in Armorillo, obviously, and we're going to be making our way west, obviously, to Flagstaff, which is going to be awesome. Besides Boulder, Flagstaff is probably the biggest running hub in the United States. So I'm going to be hitting a workout tomorrow morning that will be recorded and on the channel next video. But yeah, should be a lot of fun today. Bit more of an exciting drive as we make our way across New Mexico. All right, let's get to it. To get a quick pit stop in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It has been a hot minute since I've been here, but it's a cool town for sure. We're finally starting to hit the mountains, which is super dope. A few short hours from Flagstaff. Just pulled into Flagstaff after an eight and a half hour day. It is absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna get an easy run in, go to bed, and then after the workout tomorrow, be back for day number five into LA. Okay guys, day number five today. I just finished the workout, it is unbelievable. That video is gonna drop in a few days. I got my Pacific Coast Beach Vibe shirt on. Seven hours to Los Angeles. Home stretch, crazy that we are finally here. Let's do it. miles five days later we finally made it to los angeles oh my god it has been a long journey let's go see what the apartment looks like all right guys made it in the apartment tristan zach we made it gonna be living okay. here for a month here's our whole living room it is a mess right now <laughs> got the editing setup zach setup right there kitchen right here it is bare here's our king size bed we're gonna be bunking together <laughs> and then finally the bathroom and that is the whole setup that's why i traveled 2800 miles obviously lots of videos soon see you guys soon in the next one